Sees, I truly, truly feel like somebody is losing some serious faith when it comes down to this here union relationship with somebody who somebody definitely did try to help because they understand that somebody is in some type of despair. This could be childhood issues. This could be drugs. This could be some type of, um, you know, uh, bad situation that's, that's happened in maybe your person's life that possibly you feel sorry and thinking maybe that you can coddle this energy. However, what you cannot coddle, uh, Pisces, and I think that you're getting to the um, coming to the conclusion of this here self-centeredness. All right. This person has a lot of self-centeredness. Um, this person is looking at you right now as having very, very weak boundaries. All right. Um, this person is not respecting somebody's boundaries and it is causing you Pisces to feel uncomfortable. All right. So where, what I see you doing at this particular time, number one is losing faith. Okay. You're losing faith in this relationship. This is hurt. Okay. Somebody is going to end up having to close the door they're thinking about this they're thinking about closing the door um maybe you might feel guilty for closing the door because like i said this person it has despair in their life okay um this person you know has not had you know the best way to go so maybe you may feel guilty about closing the door um loss uh, for some of you guys, because this person is showing up as a page of wands and we do all know that they are fearless and having fun, toxic fun for a lot of them. Um, very extroverted and immature. This person can be a little bit younger than somebody else has abandoned somebody here, left somebody for dead on several occasions. Very nonchalant despair nonetheless, but nonetheless, this has caused somebody grief. All right. Pisces, I feel like um, you're coming to a situation to where you understand that there's a lot of secrets that's going on in this dynamic. I feel like there's illusions, deception, uncertainty, unclarity, misconceptions, and insecurity that is going on, hidden information that is going on in this relationship, which is leaving you to have to make some serious ass decisions. The problem that I see here is the seven of cups. Okay. These decisions that you're making are not based on something that would be, um, let's just say solid. Okay. So it's almost like, I don't want to deal with this individual, this self-centeredness, this, per this person is not respecting my boundaries and we ain't even brought up the third party. All right. But I feel like you're indecisive with this seven of cups. I feel like there's a lot of sensory overload. I feel like you're, you know, wishful thinking definitely, but getting overwhelmed. Okay. Daydreaming about the p multiple possibilities and choices and coming to the realization of illusions here okay the fact of the matter is is even though this person has had a hard way to go I mean, and yes they have had a hard childhood a lot of things have happened to this person okay i'm not going to go into it but yes pretty much all that okay the group home the being left the neglected or rejected all that okay the parents on drugs some of them grew up with their grandmama all that okay i'm not going in all that y'all um but i will tell you this it has caused them to be the individual who they are which is like i said this night this page of wands who is a uh, very extroverted immature um this person like i said is fearless they're roguish they're fearless in having fun they're very playful as a matter of fact pisces they play too damn much okay for a lot of you that will be true um they also like to play balancing acts you guys living dual lives double lives um juggling um putting somebody on the back burner perhaps um uh, going through profit and loss definitely financial stress and somebody having to be very very flexible and dealing with this person almost to the point where it will be true for some of you guys that you have to walk on eggshells dealing with this person listen we're looking at game over okay we're looking at ending this situation somebody is way too overwhelmed in dealing th with this somebody feels disrespected and their boundaries disrespected and on top of everything else somebody um is feeling um very uncomfortable around this individual at this particular time and also losing faith third party situation is here let me go ahead and glean a little information for myself before we get into the tarot i want to take this time out to shout out to ray i spent a lot of time talking to ray yesterday on the phone and it has was a serious pleasure wonderful personality beautiful personality um oh my god i cannot say so much about um you know that uh conversation ray it was a pleasure much love much respect much light to you okay um i told you i was gonna be shouting you out i meant it go down there and say hello to me okay um so with that being said let me go ahead and glean all right um we got a uh, weak boundary somebody feels like somebody can play somebody here all right 
And this just really isn't the case. What it is is, Pisces, I really feel like you've been very patient with this individual because you got a good working understanding that this person is not did not come from pretty good stock, okay? This person has had a lot of problems. This person is into spontaneity. They're into risk-taking, drinking, drugs, socialization, too much socialization, as a matter of fact. And they're constantly risking. See a trip coming up. Vegas is here. Possibly um, something to do um, with gambling or something like to that degree, okay? I do feel like you feel uncomfortable. Things are going to be coming to the light, okay? You feel uncomfortable because you're starting to realize. You're starting to realize what you already know. For real, for real, okay? Um, you know, this awareness and finding out shit coming to the light. This right here is making you feel uncomfortable and as it should, okay? Because this light is not very... Very good we got the moon sitting right up underneath that y'all this is hidden shit this is secret squirrel shit this is secrets it is deception it is insecurity it is illusions misconception and hidden information well pisces is fixing to find out it's not that you don't know though see because you do um holy spirit tell me about this moon please Chemi the chemistry and passion is leaving Somebody, somebody is no longer, they're not feeling the same as they used to be. The reason why is because of the uncomfortability. Give me a little bit more, please. Yeah, you're finding out things. You're listening to yourself with the third eye, okay? You're thinking. You're thinking about what was told to you. You're thinking, of, you're reminiscing about the lies, okay? You're re reminiscing about what happened before that didn't quite sit right with you, okay? You're doing a lot of thinking, as a matter of fact. It's overwhelming to a certain degree for some of you guys, okay? The indecisiveness of it all, because this person was, at one particular time, was fit to have a family, was fit for a good home, a good commitment. Somebody thought that they had stability, harmony, and flow with this individual, okay? This was something that I feel like some of you guys already knew because you're dealing with a page of wands, all right? And like I said, there's no way in the world you can make a page of wands, you know what I'm saying, somebody who you can marry and, and, and live a, a happy home, family life type of situation. This truth is coming out about this here union. There is some things that you are about to find out more. Pisces, somebody is watching you. This person is keeping tabs on you. Um, for some of you guys, you're being accused of things, all right? You're losing faith in this particular situation, all right? Yeah, because this person who you're dealing with, they're insatiable. They got a bottomless pit, you guys, of something that cannot be filled. And it got everything to do with this here despair, these childhood problems and shit that they got going on, okay? This person is on the internet. This person gossips. They run their mouth. They're meeting people. Um, they're, um, they're very plugged in, you guys. I mean, extremely. I mean, whoever this is definitely does, you know, know the internet very, very, very well. We could be dealing with a lot of emotions here when it comes down to this, okay? Um... Somebody will be sad. Somebody already is sad. Somebody feels guilty for having to call a shot, which will have will somebody will have to call a shot here pretty soon if things doesn't get better here. Um, and it doesn't look like it is to me. I got third party situation and also I got page of wands. And with this here five of cups, this here loss, this here having an emotional funeral, this crying a river behind this person, I got somebody ghosted, blocked, and cut off. So they did this to you. You're doing this to them. You're considering it. They're considering it. One or the other. Puzzle pieces, you guys know me, okay? So when it comes down to them, like I said, they got a lot of issues, all right? I'm not saying that they was dealt the best hand because they weren't. And I think you know that, okay? And I really believe this is one of the reasons why you have such a magnetic attraction to them, okay? Because I feel like you feel a certain type of way. It's a coddling energy. It's a, I want to make your life right. I want to show you a better thing. I want to show you a better person. I want to show you some type of um, realness, um, genuineness, some type of authenticity, okay? I want to show you a different way, all right? And this is what somebody is really, really attracted to, but this person is not definitely um this person is not appreciating it the way that um somebody is intending this to be okay listen somebody needs to cleanse themselves and purge themselves of this energy because it's becoming very toxic okay um this person is going through profit and loss this person has been juggling this person's been living a double life dual life somebody has to walk on eggshells balance is required in dealing with this person regardless if it's the emotions they feel ins you know them going to the left they understand because of their lying their juggling their flexibility 
somebody having to be flexible, dealing with them, profit and loss and um, financial instability, that they're literally sabotaging this relationship, okay? But they're not just sabotaging the relationship because of that. They're also sabotaging the relationship because everything got to be about them. Self-centeredness, okay? They're expecting for somebody here to worship them. They're expecting somebody here to um, to bow down to them pretty much, okay? Holy Spirit, give me a little bit more on this. Right, you've already given gifts. Okay, they love your gifts. They they love it. Okay, you guys. This here celebration, gifts, abundance, and trips and carrying on. They love it. All right. They love it. Um, give me third party. Sex is here. Okay, you guys. Lots of sex. You're dealing with somebody who's an info. All right. Rather it's a dude or a female, it don't make me no difference. All right. They got to have it. It got a grip on them. This third party situation, possibly their ex, okay? Possibly control tactic, domination. Um, but definitely sex here, okay? Definitely has a grip, chain way down, okay? They cannot get over their ex. Their ex is constantly a problem, all right? Um, so yeah, somebody is thinking about dating this. They may be thinking about dating this with you, all right? You may be thinking about dating this with uh, them and starting a new beginning with somebody. Definitely guarded versus vulnerable, vulnerable, but somebody, either you, Pisces, or them, is becoming closed off, guarded, and um, closed off, guarded, and resistant, but also they're moving differently. Somebody can feel somebody's energy changing here. Page of Wands is out here doing what Page of Wands do, okay? Which is be immature, which is be fearless in toxicity. Toxic bondage and patterns, all right? Right, and also getting their wishes fulfilled because remember, it's all about them, okay? You gotta remember that, okay? Holy Spirit, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ahead. Somebody's moving, somebody's relocating, somebody's traveling here. Um, physical, uh, move, location, change. Somebody got a red door here, okay? Yeah, somebody, this, this is causing somebody to really, really not be able to sleep at night here, okay? So let's go ahead and recap before we get into it, okay? We got a situation here where somebody feels like they can just run over somebody's boundaries here. They have no respect for somebody's boundaries. This person out here likes to gamble. Either they like to gamble for real, like Vegas type of gamble, okay? Or they just like to take risks with somebody here, okay? They like to gamble and feel like something is a game and they take risks for in this here relationship. Somebody here is realizing this. Somebody's here is realizing these fouls they're awakening to it they're finding out things things are coming to light this shit is making somebody feel very very uncomfortable okay this part this person is full of secrets illusions deception insecurity misconception and hidden information all right listen the passion and the chemistry is leaving slowly but surely it's leaking okay somebody knows the shit somebody got god giving gifts here somebody stays thinking about it what they're thinking about you guys is they're thinking about how this person would have been a really good or if this may be your husband or your wife what really had a good family home and or commitment or possible possibility of having a, home, a family home and or commitment thinking about this here stability harmony and flow that somebody truly did think that they had okay before they started losing faith in this relationship because this person like to keep secrets and they like to uh, um, cast illusions and delusions over somebody here and also run past their boundaries you're being watched okay social media all that okay check the gps up underneath your car the truth about this relationship pisces it will be coming out to light okay Okay? It is just that simple. You will be in a situation to where you will be going to have to think. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to understand that um, just because you have, um, you know, um, possibly, you know, multiple possibilities that you can go different choices. You know, this may overwhelm you. You may still be in the in, in, in a wishful thinking or even fantasy land. Um, you're going to have to get decisive here when it comes down. You're not going to have a choice. I'm just going to tell you, Page of Wands is here, okay? Page of Wands literally makes you, you know, decide shit, okay? Um, there's a lot of emotions going on here, uh, Pisces, all right? Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio possibly can be involved. Listen, what this person is doing, um, they're online. This person is insatiable. They either they can't get enough attention they can't get enough sex they can't get enough money or they just can't stop playing games they can't stop lying one or the other but they're damn sure plugged in this person knows a lot about the internet okay um i feel like somebody here will be kind of sad if somebody has to let them go or somebody here is sad that somebody is going to let them go 
nonetheless, an emotional funeral will be had. Somebody will be crying a river. Okay. So what you're suggested to do here is to cleanse your environment, clear, cleanse your aura. All right. Um, and understand that just because you got this magnetic attraction to this person who has had childhood wounds and issues and been left in the cold and pushed to the side and, you know, this, that, and the third, um, that it's not your responsibility to fix this. And it damn sure is not your responsibility to take upon somebody kicking down your boundaries and doing what they want to do yes they love your gifts somebody has gotten gifts somebody's celebrating um abundance here um when they look at you they look at harvest time y'all and the reason why is because they're self-centered okay it's all about them that's all it's about okay yes they're guilty of sabotaging this shit if you don't know it now you will because the bottom line is it's a somebody got to play a balancing act Somebody got to be flexible in dealing with this individual. This person goes through financial stress. For some of you guys, this person has no uh, money management skills at all whatsoever. For some of you guys, they do. But because they got external events that they got, you know, this nightlife and stuff, we're dealing with a lot of uh, profit and loss here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, when it comes down to um, this over, this ending here that is, you know, going to be taking place, either it's you or them that's going to be closed, off guarded and resistant. Somebody damn sure is going to have their guards up versus someone being vulnerable. So I don't know if that's going to be you vulnerable and them guarded. Or them guarded and you vulnerable. We don't know that yet. I ain't got to the tarot yet. We're getting there, okay? But this person, damn sure, whoever this is, whenever this shit comes to an end, listen, they're jumping right back out there, okay? They're going to be starting up something very fresh with somebody. And it feels to me like it's this ex-individual who they can't get off their mind, okay? They got a third-party situation. This person is an info. Like I told you, they got a sex addiction, all right? You guys, male, female, doesn't matter. Whoever this individual is, definitely has a grip on them okay and this is the reason why i feel like it's the ex okay um but this is a person who is damn sure has them way down they can't get this person off their mind um like i said when it comes down to this page of wands energy listen this person is drinking some of them are doing drugs smoking popping um partying reckless and having fun out here like this um, definitely spontaneous, loves fun. This is a fun boy, fun girl. Um, they're fearless, they're playful, um, and extroverted as hell, possibly either getting put out, evicted, losing their place, moving into a home, buying a home, moving, relocating. They're, they're, they're doing something here. Somebody got a red door. Okay. Listen, um, this person is fulfilled in this toxicity. It doesn't feel like it. Because this could be passive aggressiveness, you guys. This could be covert, all right? So it doesn't have to necessarily be in your face. But this right here, this toxicity, this bondage, and this patterns, like I said, could be done in a covert, covert type manner, all right, you guys? So you got to look out for that, okay? So let's go on ahead. We're going to go ahead and get into the tarot so we can see exactly what's going on, Pisces, all right? So, with that being said, shout out to my day ones. I love you guys to death. Shout out to my uh, Train to Go members, my sisterhood. You guys who join Train to Go, you guys. Um, it is um, a serious community. Um, much of love. Easier access to me. Uh, sign on uh, perks and discounts. Half off VIP. Half off personal reads, depending upon what tier you're on. If you guys do not necessarily want to be a member of Train to Go in that type of capacity, you still can if you would like and i would awfully love for you to do that be a train to go member on the first tier because what that tier is is just ttg support what you're doing is you're just supporting the channel at that point you still get a badge and you still get um a shout out and you also still get your comment pin at the top if it catches my attention okay um you guys remember for every 100 new subscribers somebody will get a free read okay so with that being said pisces let's go ahead and pray over these clarifiers in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we're asking for truth revelation confirmation guidance consolation peace and protection as we give jesus christ yeshua messiah all the praise the honor and the glory in which we uh definitely need to give him and also we are definitely expecting in this read okay so somebody has completely kicked down somebody's damn boundaries here okay this shit is not cool all right somebody is damn sure about to reinforce them all right somebody feel like somebody is a fucking game here is what it is all right they're not paying attention to somebody's boundaries all right and somebody can damn sure feel that right because they feel like somebody they putting it on you is that what it is they putting it on you this good to the point to where they feel like they can kick down your boundaries 
but you need to understand it's not just the putting on you it's also the choice it's almost like they choosing you so because they're choosing you maybe possibly and, and, and going at fast speed with this shit, as a matter of fact, things took off very fast. This person definitely does seize moments. They're very impulsive. They don't think. They don't think in a seize moments to toxic situations, materialism, bondage, restrictions, um, addictions of all kind of sort. We got Capricorn here. We got Gemini here. Um, so, yeah, this is making somebody feel uncomfortable because this person jumps out here. They're spontaneous as hell. And once again, we got risk taking here. Somebody doesn't like that. Okay. Somebody damn sure is losing faith in this here relationship, situationship. Too many cards, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they are. And somebody feels bad about it, as a matter of fact. Because if it's you that's losing faith and you're saying to yourself, damn, I got to go. I got to walk. I got to walk in my dreams. I got to have foresight and vision and keep it moving here with this three of, so three of wands. Then you know what? Maybe you might feel a little bit guilty, okay? Possibly. But you need to understand you're not responsible for this person's despair, all right? That's not your problem. The only reason why it's your problem now is because you've made it your problem, okay? You, you, you apparently care, okay? So you're going to have to get to the point where there's going to be a decision that needs to be made because all this kicking it, this gossiping, this family and friends, the socialization and all this carrying on this right here is something that has caused you to think. All right, because sometimes for some of y'all, they don't even come home for some of you. For some, they get missing. They don't answer the phone. They want to know where you're at. They the reason why is because they're out here doing stuff. You're going to have to make a decision about this. Holy Spirit. Right. And, and you're stuck in the middle here. You really are. Because on one end, you feel like you got a winner. On the other end, you're disappointed in your winner. You know, that is going to be the truth for some of you. Six, nine. Yeah. See, this winner that you feel like you have, but you're disappointed in it. When I break that down, somebody is causing somebody to be wounded, set back and guarded. Jail hospital is here. OK, you guys, um, when it comes down to the secrets and this deception. All right. And this misconception. Got everything to do with this building foundation. They made you feel or you guys had plans to build a foundation. Maybe to go into business together. Maybe start some type of uh, adventure. Um, You know, move, relocate, Um, you know, collaborate, network. Maybe you guys work together. Maybe you, you know, this is a co-worker or something to that degree. Maybe you're in the same field or have the same dreams. Whatever the case may be, they're using that. Conversation is off the chain. That is one of the things. But you know what? For some of you guys, this is a hasty conversation. For some of you guys, you don't like the way they speak. You don't like the way they talk to you. It's offensive, okay? Because eight of wands can be hasty conversation. Nonetheless, it is conversation. And if you haven't heard from this person um, lately, understand that when it comes down to this secrets, deception, insecurity, misconception, and illusions, you will be hearing from them, okay? There's some information that's fixing to be coming out here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. To a wands and it's going to put you right back in the same place where you were in the beginning having to think of what decisions that you're going to have to make dealing with this individual okay cancer pisces scorpio there you go unless you're dealing with another one there's love here you got a lot of empathy and compassion for this person you've helped them but like i said the boundary situation y'all they don't care nothing about them all right it's like i'm helping you i'm there for you i'm celebrating you but you don't give a fuck about my boundaries and you're very toxic. You out here getting missing restrictions, bondage, manipulation. Yes, you're a good person. Yes, I see that you went through a lot of stuff, but I see that you're self-centered on top of everything else. And now you fixing to see on how they had you up in the third party situation and talking to other people on this here Internet. OK, moving definitely. OK, moving on. Maybe the the seven of uh, pentacles um, could represent the moving or the relocation. Maybe they, they're leaving you or you're leaving them or they're at a distance or some type of sort or it could be that um you know just nobody somebody is not getting a return on this investment and this investment in this love and um and this is going to cause like i said an emotional funeral as well um on a side note uh pisces money is looking good okay with the seven of pentacles go ahead continue to save continue to invest um because you will get a good a nice little return okay yeah see I don't know. I feel like it's coming to an end. I feel like you're lost in the past. I think you're lost 
in what it used to be with this individual when you first met this individual how you felt when you met this person i feel like you're lost there because what's happening now versus when you met this person and how y'all kicked it then is something completely different and as a matter of fact for some of you it doesn't even resemble it doesn't come close okay all right so we got a situation to where this person you know maybe justifies certain things on certain things but you know this person is a liar stealer killer cheater thief fake phony okay this person wears a mask this person is not to be trusted and this person is a very unscrupulous ass individual it really just is that simple and that is about to be coming to light as well this person likes to juggle this person likes to live double lives this person likes to tell lies they like to hide shit okay um this person um likes to act like they don't give a fuck all right yeah they got a they got a mentality of whereas you know they can do better okay juggling again we got four god dang okay so what i got is i got a bunch of secrets all right i got money issues this person got some serious ass money issues and a whole lot of secrets and do not want to let go of somebody here because somebody is comfortable and like i said they love the gifts okay um but nonetheless and you may love the gifts the gifts as well okay cross watcher energy can and will get involved cross watcher i want you guys to know that i love cross watcher just like i love pisces if this is the pisces that's done this to you please go in the comment section below let me know because i am very interested in all energy interchange changes and always know that you are very welcome to be here okay um you guys this person um taurus is here you guys um there's a lot of people i'll let you guys know who's here at the end of the video but nonetheless okay you guys this person damn sure you're not going to get the truth i got two moons okay the period it, it's over it's, it's a done deal you're not going to get the truth out this individual all right it's just as simple they're living a double life they're juggling misconceptions illusions delusions confusion all over the damn place okay and yes you do you got a difficult decision to make okay you're going to get to the point to where you're going to have to make it self-centered very self-centered all about them ain't about nobody else but them okay listen love is leaving okay they know that you love them they definitely do but the love is leaving all right Maybe you propose to this person. Maybe the compatibility is off the chain. Like I said, maybe you guys are married. Maybe you're celebrating, bread, celebrating an anniversary or something to that degree, okay? But nonetheless, you thought this was the one. You thought you can overcome obstacles. You wanted success. You wanted victory with this individual. Holy Spirit, you are driven to succeed, period, when it came down to this person. Took you straight off the market. And it's also getting into your pockets as well, okay? Your pockets is suffering because of this individual, all right? Leo Sagittarius Aries is here. Holy Spirit, what are they doing? It's coming under game over, y'all. It's coming over. Um, this is a done deal, all right? Uh, Virgo towards Capricorn. What this um, this Queen of Wands, which is a Leo Sagittarius Aries is doing, is wanting money. They want more money, okay? They're getting to the money, and this may be their ex. So their ex may be a Cancer, uh, excuse me, a Virgo towards Capricorn, um, and they are definitely um, dealing with this person, all right? Holy Spirit, what's going on with this? Page of Wands, uh, uh, Page of Swords. Somebody's finding out this information. There's gossip here, you guys. Somebody might be possibly lying. Somebody's younger. Once somebody find out what they need to do, find out, this is going to be cut off, all right? Somebody's going to cut off game. is going to be super serious, all right? Third party situation. Uh, somebody may have a court case, traffic ticket, something like that. This third party situation, it brings them joy. This is who they are. This is your man. This is your woman. When it comes down to this third party, okay? It brings them all kind of joy. They're very confident in it. Leo is here, okay? Um, Holy Spirit, might be a pregnancy. It might be their, like I said, baby mom, baby dad, all right? You know this, Pisces. You know this, okay? I know you know it. Not with high priestess on here, you don't know it. Somebody knows somebody out here messing with their baby mom, baby daddy ex. Right. No, there's a needed change. Maybe they promised you that you would change. We got relocation. We got travel. Travel may be what you do. Travel may be what they do. Somebody may have different backgrounds. Somebody, baby mom, baby dad at a distance. Um, recovery is here. Maybe they went to NAAA. Maybe they um, on ankle monitor, uh, uh, work release, um, something to that degree. But they've promised over and over that um, they know that they need to change. Uh, maybe they're speaking to a psychologist, psychiatrist, something to that degree. Um, and they've promised that they were going to do that. They promised that they were going to change. They promised that this was going to be a new cycle, okay? But what happened, oh, Holy Spirit? 
What happened is somebody ended up falling back. Somebody possibly went to jail, but definitely pulled their energy back. And what happened was, like I said, an emotional funeral once again. OK, so when I break this down with this one, that let me know that this person could have been your everything. For some of you, this person is your everything. OK, but after somebody finds out the shit that they're going to be finding out, like I said, King of Swords is very ruthless when it comes down to cutting somebody off. It's cut off game is very, very strong. OK, so, um, you know, it is what it is. That's what happens when we dealing with a page okay you guys um this person like i said it's everything is a game to them okay they don't take shit seriously it's all about the laughing you know the giggling and you know the snickering and the kiki and, and you know the fake and phoniness that's you know the drinking the smoking the popping the extroverted events being out here like this you know i'm giving they self to other people you know what i'm saying um they love everybody y'all i'm just saying i mean i don't really think they've really been in a situation to where they weren't madly in love with somebody okay but see, the problem is, is they pull their energy back so much. Got everything to do with money. I truly believe they in love with somebody's money here. For real, for real. It's possibly is a marriage here. I got Virgo towards Capricorn. Um, Yeah. New beginnings. Always starting new beginnings. Okay. Very go mode. Very action oriented for these uh, new beginnings. Lots of sex here. And also got all the damn sense. All right. Got all the sense. Death is here, you guys. Okay, it can't be avoided. It's just that simple, all right? Because they about the money, and they put the money over love, and they don't got a problem with blindsiding anybody who needs to be blindsided, all right? They don't have a problem with putting somebody, making somebody anxious, um, feeling powerless, victimized, restricted, all that. They don't have a problem with any of that, okay? So let's go ahead and let's dig a little bit more. Um, Holy Spirit, can you please tell me what Pisces needs to know this could be your energy this could be your person's energy you guys okay i'm just going to pull a few of these and then what i'll do is i'll give you guys some time frames i'll give you guys some letters those letters could be initials um they could be a name you know or whatever that may possibly resonate you guys remember puzzle pieces anytime you get a general read from me do not forget i do give um um personal reads if you guys are interested in personal reads or any one of my plans you will find that information in the description box um along with my email okay also if you guys um check out my um my website okay hrhnikkitarot.com hrhnikkitarot.com there is a lot of articles that i have written regarding love and love situations hopefully it will help you it costs you absolutely positively nothing to go there and uh, read anything that you want to cost me every single month but that is my way that i give back along with the 100 sub and if you guys are still with me you guys go ahead and put me a car a car symbol give me a car emoji you guys i got my own personal reason for that okay um and but that's gonna let me know two things one that you are still here with me that you are paying attention to the video um that you are engaging with the channel and also that you are interested in that free read okay for my 100 for, for my 100 sub okay i got gambling addicts somebody likes to gamble they like to take risks y'all let me just pull a few more okay also, if you're going on a spiritual journey, check my book out, okay? You can find it on Amazon, Kindle, ebook, okay, you guys? Um, it is called Train to Ascend. Train to Ascend, that information will be in my description box as well, okay? All right, somebody done cried over somebody here, okay? Or will be. All right, so let's go ahead and, and see what, uh, we, what messages we have, all right? um that may pertain to you okay and like i said puzzle pieces everything is not going to fit for everybody this is this is a general read this is not a personal read okay so somebody is crying over you you're crying over them they're crying over you or will be somebody was a very close friend you guys may have exchanged some type of jewelry some type of necklace okay maybe a friendship ring something to that degree this was an acquaintance this was somebody who you knew maybe somebody who was a pleasure to be around in the beginning okay um stripper is here so maybe this person either is a stripper or somebody was very attracted to that you know that energy of, of, of a person this is definitely a karmic this person is here to teach you lessons karmic relationship std is here so go get your self checked okay gambling addict all right so somebody is definitely a gambling addict all right 
Um, so what I'm going to do is give you some time frames, um, some months. I'm going to uh, tell you what signs are here. And I'm going to give you guys some um, uh, letters. And uh, hopefully some of that resonates and it'll help you out a little bit more. Okay. So we got the month of January. We got April. We got July. We got September. We got October. We got Christmas, which is December. And we got the day before birthday. Uh, Pisces, that doesn't have to be your birthday. It doesn't have to be their birthday. It could be somebody who you know's birthday or just a holiday birthday. Okay but just the day before a birthday okay january april july september october christmas which is also december and the day before birthday underneath the deck we have the month of may the month of may okay so we have two letter f's as in frank letter n letter w letter u Letter D, letter E, letter A, letter Z, letter P, letter S, Q, and letter B. All right? So, two Fs, N, W, U, D, E, A, Z, P, S, Q, and the letter B. Underneath the deck, we have... Underneath the deck, we got the letter G, okay? G, underneath the deck. So let me tell you who's here. If I mention it several times, just means that it's heavy, okay? So um, we do have uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got um, Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Scorpio is here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is here. Scorpio is here again. Sagittarius is here. Pisces, Cancer is here. Leo is here. Cancer is here. Gemini is here. Sagittarius is here. Capricorn is here. Gemini is here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio is here. So hopefully I was able to put that one piece together for you. If I was, that means I've definitely done my job. Pisces, it is always a pleasure. Cross watcher, always an honor. Much love, much respect. I'll see you guys soon.